All-Star Weekend in Indianapolis around the association. It starts today. It goes through Sunday. More key events each and every night in Indy. A great sports hosting city. What more could you ask for? He is Donnie Wright side. I am Ben Stevens. DRS, let's start with the All-Star Weekend schedule. Tonight, it's the Celebrity Game. That's always fun. The Rising Stars Challenge. Four different teams. We'll give you some picks on that one a little bit later on. They will play in a bracket-style tournament to decide the eventual Rising Stars champion. Saturday is Saturday night at the All-Star Game. We have the skills competition. The three-point contest. Steph versus Sabrina. Stephen Curry versus Sabrina Ionescu. Both players shooting from the NBA three-point line in a head-to-head matchup. Sabrina Ionescu, of course, one of the stars for the New York Liberty in the WNBA. All capped off by the marquee event of the weekend, potentially the dunk contest. Mac McClung is back, playing in the G League for the Orlando Magic organization. The Osceola Magic getting some pub on All-Star Weekend, and he is the odds on favorite. Again, odds for all this will give you the looks a little bit later on, and it's capped off, of course, Donnie, on Sunday night by the 2024 All-Star Game. Which event is DRS most excited for? Uh, probably the skills competition overall on Saturday oh. night. And by the way, just, just a preference like the timeline here. When I was growing up as yeah. a kid, like let's just say mid to late 80s into the 90s, NBA All-Star Weekend was just about the best weekend of the year. Like, as kids, we loved it, man. The dunk competition was unbelievable. Larry Bird, like, splashing down three-point shots. We were always waiting for Jordan versus Dominique Wilkins. And, you know, who was going to win this? Was it a rigged one in Chicago? This was must-watch. It's a shame that it's sort of going a little bit down. But I know, looking at the dunk competition, there's only so many dunks you can actually do. I do like the fact that Mac McClung is in the dunk competition, sort of fires it up there where, you know, this white guy's flying all over the place. And it's one of those things where when I was in high school, I would have died to be Mac McClung and absolutely have that type of hops here. So it is fun to watch that play out. But back in the day, it was must watch yeah. TV. And maybe it gets back to that at this point. But again, we've seen just about everything we can see at this point now. So there's an only yeah. hope that maybe it does get back to there. Now, we know Donnie Wrightside was a star athlete, a star wide receiver at the collegiate True. football level. Has Donnie Wrightside ever touched rim? Yes, of course. Yeah, hang easy. I'll put it this way. Back in college, you know, what, 19, 20, 21, I could stand under the rim and not take a jump and hang on the rim. So I did have some decent hops, but never was able to dunk a basketball because I couldn't palm the darn thing. You're telling me. Standing, mm-hmm. no run up, yes. no lead up, no Correct. like Correct. give until yep. you need to go. Just standing, you yeah. could get rim and hold. Yes, hang on to the rim. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about tons of squats and power cleans and rows, all that stuff, man. That adds up I mean, there. But yes, congrats. I could hang on the rim. Yes, yeah. I, I have never been able to do that, but that is <laughs> incredibly impressive. Eight foot rim, I could be in the dunk contest, no, kind of. Ten yeah, foot rim. Is. No, not so much. Small hands, though. That had to hurt you in your wide receiver duties as well, no? Didn't, though. Yeah, hey, look, uh, by the way, shout out to the people that catch a lot with their body here. Don't ever let people say it, Michael Irvin included, (laughs) who's a Hall of Famer. Sometimes you got to catch the ball with your body. It makes some sense to do that. So there you go. Okay. It, uh, listen, whatever gets the job done. All-Star Weekend, yes, used to be a thing. We used to carve out times in our schedule. And before phones, we had the camcorders out for All-Star Saturday night. It was a blast. We are returning to those formats that we know well. That is the key this year in 2024 in Indianapolis. It's not Team LeBron versus Team Giannis, although they are the All-Star captains. It is East versus West. Once again, and that is where we stand for Sunday night's All-Star Game in Indianapolis with the West, a three-point favorite, the over-under 362 and a half. Can you potentially handicap an NBA All-Star Game? I don't know if you could potentially handicap an all-star game, but when I do look at the rosters, I agree with the odds makers here at the FanDuel Sportsbook by placing the Western Conference as the favorite. I just think they're a better version overall. Now, would that have changed if Joel Embiid played? I mean, not necessarily, but certainly one of the better players in the NBA who resides in the Eastern Conference will not be playing. It certainly doesn't hurt the Western Conference standing at this point. But also, let me get back to the other point you brought up here. 
thank God we're right. back to, you know, sanity here in the NBA. East versus West is always the most fun of the formats here. I never understood why we were picking sides here. It's just a natural evolution of gameplay to say, look, two conferences battling each other. We do it in every other sport. Picking sides up never made sense to me. I'm actually looking forward to the All-Star game because we're getting back to East versus West, which is what it always should have been, Ben. Listen, when you look up and down the Western Conference roster, it is so much more stacked, at least in my opinion, than that of yeah. the Eastern Conference. And when you don't have Joel Embiid, the best player in basketball this season for the East, that's a huge hit as well. I agree. The West should be the favorite side. Will it matter? That's a different story. But when you look at the all-star starters right now, I'm not sure who's filling in for Joel Embiid. If somebody can find that information, we would appreciate it. Giannis is the captain. Who is? Do that again? One more time? Jalen Brunson will fill in for Joel Embiid. So Jalen Brunson will be in the starting lineup. Giannis Antetokounmpo, mm. Tyrese Halliburton, Damian Lillard, Jason Tatum for the East. Out West, LeBron James, Luka Doncic, Kevin Durant, Shea Gilgis, Alexander, and Nikola Jokic. Now, the Joker is not great in all-star games. He doesn't really like playing in them, just something to know. But reserves like Devin Booker, Steph Curry, Anthony Davis, Anthony Edwards, the list goes on and on for the West, which leads us into the all-star game MVP odds, where Giannis is the favorite at 6-1. to one. LeBron James, second best price, plus 700. Steph at 8-1. to one. And then Anthony Edwards and Jason Tatum round out the top five with a 9-1 to one number. By the way, LeBron's the captain for the West. Giannis, the captain for the Eastern Conference. They have been captains against each other in the former format over the past six seasons. LeBron, 2-1 and one all time against Giannis. In fact, LeBron is 5-1 and one as an all-star captain. His only loss against Team Giannis a season ago. Where do you think there is value, Donnie, in those all-star game MVP odds? You try to take a look at a guy that can do something special, and typically it's probably going to come from the winning team, right? So Steph Curry immediately catches my attention here as you take a look at him at the yep. FanDuel Sportsbook at a plus 850 price because the chances are you want to see somebody get hot. Sure, Giannis can win. I get it. There's a lot of players in this game that can win it if they get hot, but it's one of those things where you say, okay, if I'm going to take a look at Steph and he gets in the ball game and knocks down his first three three-point shots right off the bat, they're going to just keep feeding him. And as we know, there's not a lot of defense here in the NBA, particularly in the All-Star game. And if anybody knows Steph Curry, have you ever watched him shoot around before an NBA game? You know, he's shooting from half court and barely misses here. So the chance for him to rack up 10, 15 possible makes from three-point range, that's the number I look at. So the Western Conference, I do think, wins the basketball game. And the ability for Steph Curry to knock down double-digit three-point yeah. shots will put him in that equation. That's where I'm going. Steph, I think, has a great option to win MVP again here in the All-Star game. Jason Tatum won it last year, the Kobe Bryant All-Star Game MVP award after an All-Star Game record 55 <laughs> points. I think Steph makes a ton of sense with how well he has been playing, leading Golden State into the All-Star break. I've got my money on Shea Gilgis Alexander, a 15-1 to number SGA and All-Star starter who can absolutely light it up. And I think SGA presents a little bit of value dunk contest odds up next Matt McClung the winner a season ago he is the favorite this year at minus 190 here are the four contestants for all-star Saturday night Matt McClung Jalen Brown Jacob Toppin younger brother of Obi who Jacob plays for the New York Knicks and Jaime Hawkes Jr., the outstanding rookie out of UCLA for the Miami Heat at plus 650 now if you see Jaime Hawkes now, you might not be thinking elite vert, a guy that is the most athletic freak on the basketball floor. But if you look up Jaime Hawkes during his high school days at Camarillo, he would put on shows in dunk contests and all-star games at the high school level around Southern California. Give me the long shot at plus 650. Yeah, it makes some sense, but also you take a look at that favorite oh. in Mac McClung at a minus 190 price here. I mean, that's probably where we're going to go at that point, for me at least, because you have one, look, you have three NBA guys, right, that you're trying to say, hey, let me right. work on my game on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not knocking Mac McClung here. Trust me, I'm really not. 
But the only reason for his existence, it feels like, in the G League, because <laughs> the NBA needs him to possibly be in the dunk competition. So I'm pretty sure half of the practice time is, all right, guys, we worked on our motion yeah. sets here on the offensive side. Matt, go down the other court, dunk for about 25 minutes, find the new dunk here. So when we send you up in the yeah. biggest moment on Saturday night in the All-Star festivities, you can be absolutely incredible. That's why I'm going here. One guy's only thing is the dunk competition. That's what he's worried about. It's got to be Mac McClung for me. Listen, for the Osceola Magic right now, Mac McClung is averaging better than 24 points per game in the G League this year. Also has some flow now, according to his roster picture of 2023-24. Take that into your handicaps. Maybe a little bit more aerodynamic or less for Saturday night's dunk contest. Three-point contest. Last year, the winner, Damian Lillard, he attempted 13 threes last night in Memphis. He only made three. He is the favorite this time around as well to make it two straight at plus 390. Can Tyrese Halliburton have some home cooking in Indianapolis? Second best number at plus 450. Trey Young, who was a contestant last year, will compete once again this year. Third best number, plus 550. By the way, I have a question with this because immediately Please. I start looking. Go, okay, Lillard's the favorite. Halliburton's plus four fifth. Like, man, you're getting a great price then on Steph Curry. Like, why is Steph Curry not in this competition? And don't give me he's going to shoot a rack of basketballs around and be exhausted because he's going up against Sabrina Ionescu. If it, correct me if I'm wrong, but Steph probably shoots a thousand three point shots every single day right. in the gym. Why is Steph Curry not in this three point competition? I think he is focused on the competition against Sabrina Ionescu. That's what I think. It. I mean, I don't. I don't know if that's the right answer that you wanted to hear, but I think that is the reason he is only competing in that notable event during All Star Saturday night. Good enough or no? Huh? No, it's not good enough for me at this point. Here. So I wanted a full investigation from the NBA offices on why Steph Curry, the best three-point shooter in the business, is going up against yeah. you know a female from the WNBA and not pressing his luck down. Because how's it looking? He wins that. By the way, what should take place is Ionescu and Steph should match up from the three-point line before the three-point competition goes, and the winner of that advances into it. Wouldn't you, have, you see yeah. Sabrina going up against all the – come on now. Let's do it that way. Why do I have to answer Donnie, all these questions for the NBA? Why? Another listed job on your resume, NBA All-Star yes. Game Weekend yes. Commissioner. By the way, not listed on the odds board that we showed you. Jalen Brunson, plus 750 in the three-point contest. Larry Marketing for the Utah Jazz, the longest price at 8-1. to one. Skills competition gets things underway on Saturday. Team top picks, team All-Stars, team Pacers. Top picks, Paolo Bancaro, I believe Anthony Edwards and Victor Wembanyama, all number one overall draft picks in their days. Scotty Barnes, who I thought was injured from the All-Star game, but good enough to go for Team All-Stars. Tyrese Maxey and Trey Young. And then the Pacers are Tyrese Halliburton, Benedict Matherin, and Miles Turner. We'll have picks there. We'll have picks for the Rising Stars Challenge and that tournament that will get things going tonight later on in hour number three. How do you feel, Donnie, as an originator of the pick six, to be doing a pick six not for a football Friday but All-Star Weekend? Yeah, keep it rolling through. We got things to gamble okay. on. We got to get the winners out to the people, even though if the handicaps won't be sound coming up, hopefully they'll make some sense. Donnie right side will show you his prowess as a handicapper later on. We hear from the public about All-Star Weekend next. 